It'll be a bad problem for Iran if something happens, I can tell you that. The controversy over the fiery standoff between President Donald Trump and the nation of Iran moves to Capitol Hill Tuesday, where administration officials are set to brief top lawmakers on the escalating tensions. Congressional aides say select members of Congress will be briefed on the situation. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, Acting Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan, and Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman General Joseph Dunford. They'll be joined by one member of the intelligence community whose name is not being revealed. The briefing comes as the U.S. is building up a formidable military presence in the region and accusing Iran of threatening U.S. troops and interests, citing recent attacks on oil equipment and tankers in the region. No one has claimed responsibility for the sabotage operations against Iran foe Saudi Arabia and other nations. But two U.S. government sources said last week that U.S. officials believed Iran had encouraged the Houthi group or Iraq-based Shiite militias to carry it out. On Sunday, an apparent missile came a third of a mile from hitting the U.S. embassy in Iraq. In response, Trump tweeted, if Iran wants to fight, that will be the official end of Iran. Never threaten the United States again. Close Trump ally Republican Senator Lindsey Graham backed up the president on Monday, saying on Twitter, Iran has attacked pipelines and ships of other nations and created threat streams against American interests in Iraq. He cited a briefing he had received from National Security Advisor John Bolton and told the president to stand firm. Tehran has dismissed the U.S. moves as a political game. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif on Monday tweeted that Iran's enemies have failed to defeat it for millennia, adding, never threaten an Iranian, try respect, it works. Trump's critics, including many Democrats, say his administration is hyping the danger posed by Iran in a rush to a potential war, pointing to the 2003 invasion of Iraq. But in recent comments, Trump has denied that narrative, saying he does not want a war with Iran.